Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello everyone and a warm welcome to the Riverside Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Middlesbrough and they face Sunderland. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. That was interesting to look at the table. And what can we say about these runaways, for want of a better word? Well, they're in a great position at the moment, as you mentioned, Derek. And you have to say, their football has been exhilarating at times. If they can keep everybody fit, they should win the title comfortably. A look at the starting 11 for Middlesbrough. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3 5 2. Well, let's run the rule over the Sunderland starting lineup. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And so the battle commences. Dykesdale. Wing. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Uche Ikpiazu. He's holding the ball up here effectively, waiting for support to arrive. Grant Hall. Duncan Watmore. Can he put it away? Oh, great block. Well, news to bring you from one of the other games, and big news at that. Here's Alex Scott. Yes. Alex with the info as ever. Oh, a goal! There it is! And the crowd stunned into silence! Well, just look at this strike again. He hits it so well. That's a great bit of skill. No wonder he's pleased with himself. On they go again. Will there be a quick response from Borough? There needs to be. And taking it away. Ikpeazu. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Could be dangerous. Corner given. Yeah. 
And there's the delivery. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. And a throw-in it's going to be. Lewis Wing. And what more in possession? Can they get in behind them? And the pass getting in the way. Well, it was certainly a chance to get back into the game. And you have to say they're a bit unfortunate. But they do need to finish off one of these chances. Well, potential danger. A cut back. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to their lead. Who's going to get on the end of it? Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. And here's Torres. Carrascal. This looks interesting. Couldn't keep the ball. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. I believe changing circumstances in the Birmingham game, Alex Scott. It's a second goal for Birmingham City. It's now 2-1 with 39 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And no way through. Carrascal. Has eyes for goal! Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Lewis Wing. And what more in possession? Wing. That is that for the first half here. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Torres now. A fine use of the ball. Karim Adeyemi. Well, tremendous block. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. OK, just hearing the situation has changed in the Brentford game. To what extent, Alex Scott? It's a second goal for Brentford. It's now 2-1 with 53 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. And Torres on the ball. Carrascal. How can he take them on and beat them? Body on the line. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, let's look at the replay. They move the ball so well, just waiting for an opening, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Well, a second goal for them here.
A championship match that should hold plenty of intrigue. Join us on EA TV. It's Middlesbrough facing Preston North End. Space and time for the cross. Crisp tackling. Carrascal. Could be dangerous. Firing is in. But it wasn't a taxing save. And receiving news of a goal in the Birmingham City match. Alex Scott, fill us in. It's a second goal for Bristol City. It's now level at 2-2 with 72 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. It must go in, surely. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, here we can see it again, and it doesn't get any better, does it? That's just sloppy from the goalkeeper. That's a terrible goal to give away. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? And caught by the keeper. Ikpeazu. Another live game in the championship coming your way on EA TV. It's Sunderland, and they'll be taking on Huddersfield Town. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. Well, I believe we have news of a goal in the Brentford game. Alex Scott is waiting to give us the information. It's a goal for Brighton. It was a nice one-two, and then he coolly slotted it around the goalkeeper. It's all level again at 2-2 with 84 minutes played. Can he finish them off? He's done it. What a climax to this game. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Here it is now, a substitution. Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Paddy McNair. Dykesdale. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Yeah, it was a very good performance. He scored one and hit the woodwork, but his general play was outstanding as well today. Very